can you just imagine all of this just because I told him that I don't want to be with him anymore. I ignored him when I was at Pablo's. I didn't want to fight because I have no reason to fight with him. It's not an issue to not be, want to be with someone. Now all of this is happening. Like what I told you last time. Exactly what I told you last time. Every time I try to leave, the same thing happens. Last time he posted that video on Zim Celebs and I, I told him to apologize. He never even wanted to do that. Now he's making it seem like like I'm I did something when I have nothing to do with anything except the fact that I don't want to be with him. And you know the thing that hurts me is that all this time I was just trying to not cause drama. But you even seen me yourself. You saw that day. If I don't even pick up one call, he's going to shout at me or beat me or whatever he's going to do. You saw how scared I was that day. You even saw me when I had bruises. You saw me. I just had no one to... I didn't know what to do in the situation. I thought that if I, if I avoid social media, because I'm not even a social media person like that... I thought everything will be fine. Now this is what's happening. He came to my house this morning. He came. He was saying, I want to see you. I need to talk to you. I, whatever. So I told him that I couldn't see him. And he went away. Now he's saying he's going somewhere else. I don't know. He's driving out of town or whatever. And he cut, turned off his phones, everything. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Because I never started anything. I just simply told this person that I can't stand to be shouted at and be fighting every single day. It just doesn't work for me. And I guess that's what... I, w I don't know. I guess that's I was wrong to say that. Listen to this. You know, when I was in Zambia last time, the same thing. I broke up with him. He wasn't happy. Right? And then he decided to go and uh, we blocked each other everywhere. That's when everyone was talking about us and following each other or whatever. And then he went to Zim Celebs, the one with an S, and sent a video of us kissing and then told them to write something. But Zim Celebs went and wrote their own thing. So I have no doubt that he's the one that posted it because after that, after he went and posted that video, I begged him, I begged everyone, every single person that posted, I begged them to delete. And the only response I got was, but it's out. I sent it out and it's already there. So I just said, you know what, fine. I stopped talking to him. Then he came back begging me. I'm going to send you the screenshot. Begging me, please, I'm sorry, forgive me. I'll write I'll write uh, an apology. And then he said, write it and, and I'll post it. I even wrote it and even put it in a format for him to put it out in a business way. And he still refused to post it because he said that he doesn't want to look bad. Even though he put me in the limelight of looking bad. From day one, I never ever asked Levels to ever post me. I never asked him to do I ask if you anyone, ask Levels. I asked him, can I pay you for studio if it's about me recording. I was recording at Universal Studios. What makes me not be able to pay for Chill Spot Studios today? What? It really doesn't even make sense. So I asked, I asked that levels. If this is how we're going to end things, it doesn't make sense. Let's, <sighs> guys. And they keep on trying to hack my account, just like that day when they hacked me the last time because I broke up with him, because he saw me with you, yet he doesn't know that we've been friends since way back. Why does everyone have to think that 